Hi, my name is Risa Modelli. Um, my name's Jessica Howard. My name's Hamza Khan. I'm from Uxbridge. I go to Bishop's Art School. Yeah, I was born in Hackney, but I was raised in Leighton from when I was around three. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I live there now. Uh, my granddad's Nigerian. I'm from my mum's side. So yes, we eat plenty of this, eh? This plantain, this green plantain. We got the mangoes here. I don't know what that is. On my mum's side of the family, they all sort of live like around the Iver area, like the older sort of lot of the family. Mm. They all live like near my granddad, so they can be close to him. Because my granddad's Nigerian, but he don't live with me anymore, so. And my nan, I live with my nan, and she's Welsh. And then like our like generation, we all live really close. Like my mum's mum lives a road before us. Yeah. And she walks past our house on the way to work. I wanted to base my film on not like showing anyone, just, just me talking about my family. And um, I wanted it to be kind of abstract, so. Just only seeing me and not seeing any of my family, that's, that's kind of how I feel sometimes, so I wanted it to be viewed in that sort of way. I wanted to just create a separate small little video about how I thought that when we were talking about changing circumstances, one of the first things that came to my mind was school and education and how it changes us as a person. I think it's this shot. It's, yeah, I was, I was looking out of the window, I was thinking, because I, I couldn't come up with anything to come up with, so I thought I'd just come out, in the w out of the window and think. Family is more than just the word family. I think a lot comes from family, like your roots, where you come from, where you are based, your mix, what you look like, you know, all that, but there's so much more than just the physical and you know, what, what meets the eye, because you share a lot of experiences with your family and, you know. This is at um, my great granddad's house, and where we are. He's, um, they've always lived in this house for like years and years and years. They're like the longest residents in the street. And my granddad can remember like the name of every person that's like come and gone. I, I got the idea from, have you seen a video on YouTube called Every Day? It, there's a man called Noah Kalina from uh, America. What he did, he's a professional photographer, and what he did was he took a picture of himself, of his face, uh, every day for six years, and um, he made it all into a video. And then as the video progresses, you can see how his face changes. Yeah, I wanted to make it insightful before that, but um, them to see a bit of me as well. Mm. So, right, I've got um, a clip of me just casually playing games. There's many ways in which we remember family. We remember family through pictures, memories, anything really, but sometimes I can remember my family in just weird circumstances, like I'll be playing a game and like when, when I was younger, me and my uncle used to play old games like Tetris, um, the old Resident Evil on a PlayStation. And if I play them, then I think a bit about him. And that, that scene was about, it was mainly about my uncle, because um, we played games, so I thought I'd play games and talk about him, because it seemed suitable. That's the good thing about my family, we all sort of live within driving distance of each other. There's no one that really lives far away. So we're all quite close knit. Because my mum's family lives in like north of Pakistan and it is like a really, it's not dodgy per se, but it's like really strict kind of place. And then if you walk around in like jeans and stuff and then the, you'd see people on the streets just giving you evils and then they want to beat you up and stuff. I used to be quite ashamed of like telling people that oh my parents don't work because like automatically people jump to like conclusions and they think that people that don't work are just like layabouts and things like that. But like my mum and dad have done the best they can with what they've got. Are they offended that you have an English accent? Uh, not my family, no. Other people might be. But like I think it's worse for me because 
I've never learned the language that they speak. Oh, they, I just can't be bothered. They probably don't like that. <laughs> yeah. Like, my dad can't help that he's got diabetes and epilepsy. And my mum did work for a little bit, but my dad, like, can't really take care of himself. Like, he can't even stand up long enough to, like, cook. Right. So he'd get, like, really ill and he'd have fits and things like that. So my mum gave up her job. And in a way, she sacrificed a lot because now she doesn't have a job and she's quite ashamed of that. She sacrificed a lot for, like, the family and everything. I know if you, if you go to Nigeria and you speak in a... In a normal accent, they're a bit ah, talking your talking your accent here. <laughs> this is not your accent. If you didn't know, I'm mixed with Nigerian because my granddad's Nigerian. I've got Welsh in me from my nan, and I'm half English from my mum and dad's side. Yeah, a lot of mixes. Now we thought that throughout life, you go through hard moments and then when you emerge you emerge stronger than before and so I think that whatever happens then it does make you stronger and in a, in a good way yeah <laughs>